You may not always be aware of it, but at each moment of our lives, you're standing at a crossroad. One between the life that you're living right now and one is a different one. A road full of adventure and full of excitement, but also a lot of uncertainty and probably many changes. On the 10th of July of 2017, I found myself at Schiphol Amsterdam Airport in the line for passport control with a one-way ticket to India. Because I decided to take that road. I would like to take you on a little journey today with me. But before I do that, I would like to properly introduce myself. Namaste. Mera naam Hey. Hi, my name is Ivana and I'm a YouTube travel vlogger. This means I travel around the world, I capture my travel experiences through video and I share them online with my subscribers. I like to call them my online family. However, no matter where I traveled in the world, I haven't been able to find that one thing that I found in India. That one thing led me to walk out on the life that I had over here and take this road. At the end of our journey today, you might discover that this road might also be the road of your dreams in India. But it is not an easy road. I said goodbye to all of them. My family, my best friends, the people who I love the most not knowing when I'd see them again. I had a beautiful home in Amsterdam and I ended a seven year relationship with a man who I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with. That's a lot to leave behind for one person in one go. So you can probably imagine <laughs> while I'm standing in line for passport control at Amsterdam Airport Schiphol, I am trying to process what I just did, one step at a time, one breath at a time. And in that moment, that moment when so many emotions are going off in me, one of my best friends calls me. Hey, hey, how are you doing? She asks me. I tell her, I'm so happy to hear her comforting voice. So I tell her, well, I'm stressed, I'm anxious, I'm so excited! But at the same time, I'm also sad and I'm afraid. She tells me, you realize that you don't have to do this, right? You don't have to prove anything to anybody. You don't have to go. Are you absolutely sure you want to do this? I don't even have to think because with every step that I take, my heart tells me this is it. And I tell her I would never be able to forgive myself if I betray my heart by not following it. She's one of those people who always has the most comforting words for any situation. So she tells me, I'm so proud of you. I believe in you and you got this. So <laughs> I take one more step and one more. And before I know it, I am on that one-way road of dreams to India. Right now, <laughs> I'm guessing you're probably thinking, why? Why would you leave such a comfortable life in the Netherlands to come to India? India of all places. Well, our journey begins where all our journey begins. With our parents. Raise your hands. <laughs> If this is what your parents expect from you, one, get a good diploma, two, get a good job, find a good partner, marry them, buy a house, and have children. Yeah, I, I see most of the hands. Good. <laughs> We're on the same page. For generations, parents have been raising their children like this because they want you to have a good future. And most importantly, they want you to be happy. That's what all parents want for their children to be happy. My parents on top of that saved me and my brother from the Balkan War in the 90s, brought us to the Netherlands as refugees and worked their butt off to give us a good future. So you can imagine I love my parents so much, therefore I decided to take that road that they paved for me. 
However, my parents and probably your parents neither couldn't prepare us for a future they never knew was coming. Right now, I would like to step back with you to 2014, to a very low, if not the lowest moment of my life. I always wanted to travel, so I was saving up for three years to be able to take a sabbatical. On the 21st of June of 2014, I received the last paycheck that I needed to complete that travel budget. I also woke up dead inside. I had a burnout. A burnout is a state of exhaustion caused by overwork up to a point where it affects your physical health. My short-term memory was a disaster. I could barely read because it was too exhausting and until this day I still have trouble writing emails. My doctor asked me something that I never really asked myself and maybe you haven't either. What do you enjoy doing? I didn't know what to answer. Because that diploma, that job, that partner, that house, it was not the answer. But what is? It took me six months to get clearance from my doctor to get back to work. I didn't. I got on the first plane and I discovered I love to travel. And I started filming my travels and sharing them online and I love connecting with people that way. Every step that I've taken in my professional and my private life since that burnout had to contribute to my happiness. Turns out you can make a living doing what you love. At the end of that travel year, there was only one country left to visit. India. <laughs> Now, wait, 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 let's be real. The stories that you hear about India are absolutely horrible. So I was terrified, but at the same time, there was this beautiful Bollywood movie that I saw when I was 15, Devdas. It made me so curious about this beautiful country. Luckily, my curious curiosity won over my fear and I went to India. I hope, I genuinely hope, that I can give you a glimpse of what I felt when I stepped onto Indian soil for the first time. I arrived in Kerala, Kochi, and I got out, I got on the local bus. Driving to Fort Kochi, I just felt something actually more important than happiness. I felt at peace. And I felt content. Traveling through India, I was so surprised to discover so many treasures that the news never bothers to talk about. Nowhere in the world will you learn more kindness, more gratitude, more humbleness, more family values, more hospitality. How to work hard, but also how to enjoy life to the max. And I... <laughs> And I have to honestly say my personal favorite is how humanity prevails over rules. Sure, you must be thinking only money talks in India, but coming from an over-regulated country, it is so refreshing to be able to pay extra and not just hear, no, this is not possible because the rules are the rules. India teaches you something that all good parents want to teach their children, how to be a good human being. So, a very recent example that I would like to share with you is when my dad recently came to India. He really wanted to make an overnight journey with a train. I booked the tickets way in advance because we were traveling during Diwali time. And on the day of our travel, uh, we were number one and two on the wait list. I met Kinjo during a Mumbai meetup because she watched my videos and we became friends. Serendipity has it that her whole family was traveling on that train too. When we got to the train station, the ticket master told us that we didn't get the tickets. Kinjo's family not only made sure that we got on the train, but in good Indian fashion, they fed us to death. And on the next station, we were able to buy our tickets. 
my dad and me really had trouble keeping ourselves together because this is so normal for Indians, this kind of hospitality, this kind of kindness. But having traveled the world, I can absolutely tell you it is extraordinary for people to take so much care of you. We're going to fast forward in time to 2016. I came back from my second trip in India and I realized this country is my future. The peace and content that I found in India was something I was not willing to let go. And it made me decide to take that road of dreams. But this is not where our journey ends. <laughs> By now, some, and maybe all of you are thinking, this girl just came here to eat, pray, love, to find herself, especially after a burnout story. And you're definitely right about the eating part. Because one day, India will run out of paneer. This paneer princess will eat it all. But next to the phenomenal food, I also genuinely feel a duty to share the beauty of, the of this country with the world. And not just with the world, but also with Indians. Despite of all the horrible stories about that you heard about India, there's so much more. I genuinely feel that India right now is one of the most underrated roads of dreams in the world. And I would like to tell you just two dreams that you can make a reality in India right now. The first one is obviously travel. Is there anybody here who likes to travel? Okay. <laughs> Is there anybody who likes the beaches? Yes. The mountains, like the Himalayas. How about jungle trips? And desert safaris, anybody? Okay, so how about a crazy city trip? India has it all. And on top of that, there is this amazing transportation system with buses, trains, and flights being extremely affordable compared to the rest of the world. You have all these apps where you can check the reviews, book everything online. Every hundred kilometers, the culture, the food, the language, the people change. If you love to travel, India is absolutely a dream destination. And yes, even as a solo female traveler, I have hundreds of videos to prove that it, it's okay, it's safe. The second dream that you can make a reality in India is business. And this is something that's very dear to my heart because I hear so many young Indians being extremely frustrated with bureaucracy, with the corruption, with the sexism, making them think a life abroad is better. My own friend, a very talented, inspiring, educated, smart woman, she just left for the Netherlands of all places. And India lost out on an amazing future entrepreneur. But at the same time, she is also losing out on an opportunity to build a business in one of the most exciting markets in the world right now. India has 1.3 billion people. I need to repeat that again because it's insane. 1.3 billion people who are getting access to cheap internet, making online business a gold mine. Speaking about internet, daily life in India is changing rapidly, making the wheels of justice turn faster and bureaucracy less because processes are being automated. I don't bargain with my rickshaw anymore. He can't rip me off because I just order an Uber and pay with my credit card. You can get your Indian passport within one day. Don't get me wrong, however, I'm not naive. Even in Bangalore, I have to cover up my legs I get shocked reactions from Indians when they see me in bikini. And I've experienced racism for the first time in my life, which was actually a very humbling experience. Many people get forced into marriage, or at the same time, many marriages are being made impossible because the parents don't agree. My gay friend has to hide in a straight marriage because he can't share with his parents who he really is. Change takes time especially with 1.3 billion people. However, don't let the outside world fool you about the 
potential that India has for the future. One of my favorite Bollywood movies is Swadesh. <laughs> Shah Rukh Khan, who is a very accomplished engineer in the US, he returns to his nanny in a small Indian village. And at first he complains about everything that's lacking and everything that's wrong in the village. Soon he gets put in his place because he realizes that some things don't have price tags. Family, loyalty, community sense, generosity. He also discovers that nothing changes by leaving or complaining. If you are dreaming of a change in India, you better start working on it yourself. So, next to eating <laughs> all the paneer that I can find, I also came to a developing India to build. I came here to support India in its rise by showing the beauty of this country one video at a time, by supporting the local economy by eating one paneer dish at a time. <laughs> We have arrived at the end of our journey. Right now, you too, perhaps, also stand at a crossroad. I'm quite sure because we stand at this crossroad every moment of our lives. And I would like to share two ideas with you that might help you make a decision. One, your parents just want to see you happy. My parents are super proud of me that I'm living the life of my dreams in the country of my dreams being content and at peace because that's what I found in India. Spend as much time and energy and money as you can finding out what that one thing is that you love to do. Because our parents grew up in different times. We have so many new possibilities that we can only make them understand when we explore them ourselves. And two, this might help you because it's scary. Taking that road, like I said, it's full of adventure, full of excitement, but also lots of changes and full of uncertainty. You will get afraid. But the one thing that will help you is choosing curiosity over fear. Thank you for having me. <laughs>